welcome rosa wow to your natal chart transit forecast report this is the peace dealer and i hope you gave me up most of quality from this report i completely forgot your moon was 29 degrees pisces respect wow no wonder it's been pretty difficult uh to tap into this energy um a lot of what you were going through when you messaged me I'm going to just say it has a lot to do with your Venus 28 degrees and your moon. Uh, both of these in the positions they are aren't necessarily unstable as much as they're very challenged. Saturn is squaring your Venus. Moon is right next to your Neptune. And if we look at the Neptunian vessel alien, which I have natally, you can read psychically, you can read others' minds and auras, you can communicate with the spirit essence of essential oils, you can communicate with the fairy kingdom, dance with devas, and that sounds really cool, but it heavily disassociates you from reality because the crux of your soul mastered in the sign of the astral realm of the unseen is being activated more than ever, directly square your sun, okay? And that has been challenging the 12th house Sagittarius that can see the unseen by blending these visions with your reality. There's no Virgo and there's no Gemini. And so that's what's been difficult to now with these more objective perceptual indicators grounding the context of this. So the key here is to release, release the need to try and balance this um, in the sense where this is going, it's like a storm that's going to pass. It's like you're in a plane going through turbulence. And right now we're in your seventh house in cancer season. And we're going to go from cancer to Capricorn. This is the crux of your final boss battle. Pluto in your first house is having you overcome the old definition of yourself and fully awaken into the goddess that you are. Okay. Into the goddess that you are. Um, if you still need the alien construct articles for all the instrumental power, let me know. I think I gave it to you. If you need it again, let me know. I'll send it to you. Um, but this is key because we had the eclipse on your Venus. Okay. And what this has been doing opposite Jupiter is it's using the resources of the people who have been supporting you for the past 10 years to now help you manifest independent success the north node and the fifth can even induce childbirth and an element of romance quite unexpectedly where a friend or, or an acquaintance turns into a lover uh, or someone who you comes in new unexpectedly uh, sweeps you off your feet uh, it's nothing to necessarily wait for or expect but it is possible so it's if that were to happen is a huge chance it may already start happening right now because the new moon that we had in cancer is in your seventh house of partnerships so over the next six months as a cap rising you are activating the power the soul power to take your incredible personality and hold space for others sincerely chiron has you heal people and so this is an uncomfortable sense of empathy too where you feel other people's pain, you feel other people's emotion, you take it in, you help heal it. But it's also preparing you to draw important boundaries as a Sagittarius so that you can decide what you want to feel and what you don't want to feel. This is a great time to just constantly spend every waking moment in prayer. That's what this is teaching you to do to step away because Sagittarius aren't allowed to be mortals anymore. And, and y'all go through very painful ascension symptoms that in the 12th, it's going to be hard to find any doctor that can diagnose you appropriately because they don't believe in the trans dimensional supernatural aspects of this. They're going to think it's hogwash. They're going to think you're crazy. They don't know you're a supernatural goddess. Um, and, and I, and I don't say that as a joke, like it's, it's legit. Like they don't know your, your supernatural 29 degree Pisces moon goddess, like 12 house Sag sun with the cap rising. This is all upper echelon. Um, and this is the consequence of greatness, but you're clearing this once and for all. You'll never have to go through this again. You'll feel more by the time this is all said and done. And where we you finish the final boss battle in cap and Pluto goes in Aquarius, you will feel stronger about yourself than you've ever felt. And that you've overcome this. Everything you're overcoming is everything that the collective has dumped on you. 
which is why it's very painful. It's very difficult. But I mean, you're more than magical enough to handle this. And the breakthrough is coming now that we're going through your seventh. So the full moon is going to unlock more understanding of who you have to be to balance these feelings and express your feelings sincerely to others. So over the next six months, okay, we know that the sun is going to go through your seventh house to your first house. And as a sad sun, it's going to go from your eighth house to your second house. And so blending both of these facets, you are in cancer season, transforming your awareness of your partnerships, or you are establishing, okay, the completion of your partnerships as you're aware of what boundaries you set with them. And then by Capricorn season, you will complete that by establishing your identity based on your awareness of how valuable your identity and personality is worth because Capricorn season is second house to your Sag sun. And so what this kicks off with is a complete and total breakthrough out of the difficulty you face since the past six months, a lot of which is also induced by Pluto. But we can't sleep on Jupiter that you have exactly opposite Venus that is purely rich. It's very rich. It's very valuable. It's very wealthy. You're setting yourself up for more independent wealth than you may possibly be able to manage. And we have to know over the next six months, we're going to have the eclipse 13 degrees in Scorpio on your Pluto. Because we were born in 88 and 90, this is going to be the eclipse that unlocks all that energy. So that intensity that's been welling up, that's been very difficult to manage, is the south node getting closer to Pluto, which will and completely release and it'll feel like a burden has released. OK, so we're five months away from there. Right now, you're activating new partnerships. And over the past six months and the next six months, rather, Jupiter is going to retrograde at eight degrees in Leo season and square Neptune. We're going to see Mars retrograde in November. Right opposite your sun. And then we're going to see Saturn and Pluto go direct in October during Libra season. So all of these are setting the stage for the end of the year. Once we step into Capricorn season and the sun is exactly zero degrees cap late December, Jupiter will be zero degrees cap. Zero degrees Aries next to your moon. So. There's one more round of soul evolution that's going to expand your soul's quality to be receptive to all this supernatural juju and magic. Remember, with the beginning of 2022, Jupiter quickly transited through Pisces and evolved your soul very fast. That is partially why coming into this super quick soul evolution knocked your body out of balance and you entered an unstable mental state because so much divine insight from everywhere all around the world has been rushing through and your brain can only process so much. Mercury is on Uranus and Saturn, which is very unconventional. So your mind is constantly stressed, singularly focused on this crystallized power that you're constantly generating and it's been overloading your mind. So now we've reached the place where it's going to start to balance. OK, and that's very key with this new moon in cancer that is going to activate new partnerships relative to Jupiter. It's squaring in your fourth, expanding your home space so that you can make room for people who you trust with private issues in your life. It's very possible you may form a new relationship this month. But regardless, it's geared towards a new cycle of how much more powerfully you express your sincere feelings towards others. Once we step into Leo season, post full moon in Capricorn, this is going to now switch gears into the transformation of your boundaries and the allocation of the knowledge that you manifest. 
because Saturn is going to leave your second house this year. 2021 was the evolution of your finances and the knowledge of your value. Your your price has raised. OK, you know more now what you're worth and the authority to manifest this at will is finishing and mastering. So Saturn at squaring Venus is very painful because you're understanding that your value is higher than what most people may be willing or able to give. And so this creates a lot of friction and challenge because of the harshness of how intense your heart and Venus feels this. But it's necessary so that you don't get any less than what you deserve. That being said, Jupiter that rushed through Pisces in the five months that it was in Pisces quickly evolved your divine abilities, quickly evolved your ability to take everything you've learned and take it to the next level. This is what offset your brain's ability to process this supernatural phenomena through your soul. And the difficult part through this is you want to surrender to it. It's a lot of your mind thinking that something's wrong, but really it's just expanding. And so in that, you know, when this happens, spend time in prayer more than you do call on God. You know what I'm saying? And not for a quick fix, but just to stay in that vibration, whether you keep feeling it or not, even if it intensifies, this is the growth pains of you getting strong because 29 degrees Pisces moon means you feel everything, but your brain's capacity and your spirit's awareness to process that is difficult. That's the square where your son is seeing it visually, but your soul is receptive to unseen phenomena that it's now bringing into reality and your brain and earthly Capricorn is having unconventional trouble learning how to make sense of it. All of this is clearing. Okay. By the time we step into Leo season, the six months of work you've spent solidifying your value, you're going to now, after you've manifested these relevant partnerships, be more clear than ever on who to invest into. What social environments do you want to invest your knowledge into? Jupiter will begin its retrograde. And this is where if you haven't moved, because Jupiter in your fourth is going to set you up for a move next year, if you haven't already begun to move this year. And because it's fifth house to your son, it's opening up how more creatively you can be in your own private space. So Leo season is going to ascend your awareness to the next level of your philosophy around who you trust. And because this is going to be the checkpoint to the eclipse in Taurus, Everything you did in May to plant the seeds to solidify self-employed income and creative measures to integrating your lifestyle, more grounded creativity will break through and who socially you can bring those creative talents to. Leo is the performer on stage. And so the opposition to Saturn is going to be challenging because you're having to deal with other people. And that challenge of outside influences may seek to undermine your value. But the courage of Leo is you smacking those people in the face and saying yesterday's price is not today's price. Respect my authority. You go and pay. Even if it's time, even if it's knowledge, it doesn't have to be money. Your money is in knowledge and you can convert that into any kind of currency. But Leo season is going to be very pivotal. Trining your sad son to help you see more into how other people may have caused these dynamics indirectly because this is all energetic and you'll know how to draw more boundaries. That square is going to break you through into how you take your talents into the social arena and you're going to draw boundaries to know who you can trust so that by Scorpio season, you're only around people you can trust and now you're performing to that audience and now you're breaking through considerably in your career because this eclipse is tied to your MC and the cult following that you're destined to unlock during this period or the secret society, which you are a part of, given the work you do, you know, a Palero, a Santero, uh, someone in Ifa, that is a version of a secret society. And, you know, you are very much so the goddess of that. But I don't think you've awakened to that. I don't think you've awakened to how important you truly are. You know, you're important. But I don't think you've awakened to it. So cancer season is the first part of this boss battle. In relationships with others who undermine how incredible you are, 
through passive aggressive feelings and just shade throwing. You are completing this first boss battle by maintaining integrity of who you are. This is going to lead into the second boss battle in Libra season. So after we step out of Leo, we're going to go into Virgo. All the skills you've learned since March, where we had Neptune, Jupiter, Sun, Moon, and Pisces on your destiny and North Node that activated this aspect of your destiny to communicate, write about, and speak about these divine experiences. Even the pain you're going through, you want to share that because so many other people are going to relate to it. And it's your destiny to make people aware of this because the South Node in Virgo gives you an analytical approach towards how you philosophize and teach about what's happening. So you're able to break down analytically supernatural phenomena. And that's your destiny to teach to learn and to express north node in the third second house they're just meant to talk about things and and in pisces you're meant to talk you're meant to be the one that talks about the unseen spiritual principles that people will resonate with or just you know think you're delusional for but you're the goddess saying this so if they don't know that you're a goddess they're delusional okay and and you keep this aspect of yourself secret so it's not like people are supposed to know you're ascended like that so everything that you learned remember March brought in a whole new cycle of evolving new skills. Everything that you're good at doing, you've learned a higher level to do this. Everything you've learned will have been mastered through Virgo. You practiced it and mastered it through Gemini season by aligning your mind's ability to think about an enlightened approach towards integrating these new abilities into your lifestyle. But Virgo season is what's going to have you teach what you finally just mastered in the sign of the master. So the ascended divine abilities you've learned by Virgo season, now that you are in the social axis on stage past Leo, you will be showing to others. You will be teaching to others. And this will break you through because as a Sag sun, this is your awareness of career. And so you're going to be establishing in the awareness of your career goals, this mastery of newly developed abilities in March that were abstract, but you can practically break down and show for real. This is going to freak people out. Mind you, Gemini season was what induced a lot of the 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 difficulty you were going through because it was opposite your son it triggered through that t square this evolution now that we're in virgo it's going to mediate and balance all of this and you'll find coming into libra this balance will now bring back more power now that this has enabled you to ground clarity and details into what you were perceiving this whole time And this will also put you slowly but surely in the onus to begin controlling this and commanding whatever essences and spirits are involved. Virgo season is definitely very crucial because the square to your sun will also prepare you to release old beliefs and habits now that you've mastered this new element of these abilities in an ability to teach people. And once we step into Libra season, We are going to see Saturn go direct and we're going to see Pluto go direct. Libra season will now bring us the next boss battle phase in your 10th house, which is 11th house to your son. And so you're going to see the friends in your life that take you to the top of your career. You're going to rally around support socially and it's going to complete everything you did in April regarding the creativity You established new creative habits and talents in your own personal life that you individually moved in the direction towards desiring. That's everything you're going to perform to people publicly in Libra season. Now that you've mastered these skills. And once again, this is going to blow people's minds because you work directly with Orisha. You work directly with the Loa. You literally are that middle woman in between reality and the spirit as a goddess of the spirit realm. And so 
Whereas before, a lot of people just had to take your word for face value. Now they're seeing directly more than ever physical evidence and proof of everything you've been saying and the work you're doing. This is going to freak a lot of people out because it's going, they're going to have to accept that you are the supernatural being that you've always were. And it's not like you are telling people I'm supernatural. This is them coming to that realization because certain things you're doing and showing them literally break through everything they believe to be true. And it's going to be in the small little things. It's not like you'll make a bird come to life, but it's going to be in the small, minute details that you may be unaware of. All of this support is necessary because once it leads back to Scorpio season, that's what's going to take all that support and crescendo into life changing, transformative career success to where now people have seen you've been the real deal. And this is going to, you know, bring so much more support. So the fall season, rest of summer and fall season is going to literally heat up because this is where everything's going to come full circle. And with everything going direct with Pluto and Saturn and Libra season, this is going to have you move forward on your value and worth and how you're breaking through manifesting the knowledge of this value more on command. That boss battle in Libra season is going to push you to take this rallied support to break through once again outdated understandings of who you are. Pluto in the first in Capricorn is breaking through that stigma of being a witch instead of being seen as what you truly are, the real deal, the director, okay? And so Scorpio season unlocks that eclipse. From Scorpio season back again to May of 2023, we're gonna see Jupiter in Taurus getting ready to return for you 2024 and evolve your creative means. But because this is also sixth house to your lifestyle, change your whole lifestyle. And from November of 2022 to May, you're allocating transformative career success back down to Taurus so that you can ground this support collectively into individual windfalls of income. It's like people supporting your craft in the 11th and Scorpio, all that translates into material resources in Taurus. So all the work you've done since May to sow those seeds, boom, not only uh, on the eclipse in November, which I think is exact, uh, November, like 12th or something like that. It's going to be 13 degrees right next to, um, the moon 14 degrees actually. Oops. So with that being said, you know what I mean? Um, that full moon that we're going to have is personally going to completely unlock this. But because you have Jupiter opposite it as well, it'll definitely also play its hand in evolving to the next level, even more grounded everything because you're you're on point. Like you have a lot of resources already. You didn't just kind of do this willy nilly. And that's what's going to show. That's going to lead back to Sagittarius season where we're now unlocking old beliefs. Now that you've integrated the mastery of these new skills, a lot of what you went through Gemini season, the opposite will happen. You will see clearer than ever. All right. Jupiter by Sagittarius season will be 29 degrees. So Scorpio season, Jupiter will retrograde back on your soul as you're going through the eclipse, go through a huge soul evolution. Then Sagittarius season will go back again over your moon. And this is going to expand more of your soul's ability to feel into all this success and evolution. Then zero degrees Capricorn, Jupiter will be zero degrees Aries. And you will go through the final boss battle of breaking through all the inhibition of being yourself and fully awakening to yourself. That's how you end the full, the final boss battle. You'll be more clear on who you are and what you can do and what you're meant to do than ever. And that's what's going to lead into next year where Pluto will go into Aquarius and we step into a whole new paradigm. Saturn will go into Pisces and start to activate your destiny and master your soul. And Jupiter will now officially begin its Aries transit. And in five months by May, already going to Taurus and uh, manifest a lot more grounded success. 
So please feel free to listen to this at least seven times throughout the next six months. Feel free to ask me any questions that arise. I think your growth is admirable and amazing. And you stay blessed as always. Peace.